Good morning once again. Today we're going to start our discussion on time series, a very important topic in our subject. Now I gave here some references. Okay, these are excellent sources, guys. Uh, you you just uh, do, please don't just depend on our lecture because a uh, very lacking lecture na to, no? Hindi natin compress sa uh, ilang a few hours yung lesson on on time series. So for example, there's a very good there's a very good research, uh, resource material yung kay uh, online ng uh, anong university to? PSU University. So kindly, if we open this, guys, control C. Let's access that. Just want to show you what you can find in this online stack. Uh, and dami na, guys, ano? And dami ng reference material. Uh, during our time, nag ako, guys, walang mga ganito, ganito, wala pa internet nun. So, very limited yung, ano, yung, yung resources namin, no? Library. Eh, Siyempre sa library, hindi naman updated yung mga yung kadalasan. So, we had to really uh, content our, ourselves with uh, very limited resources. Uh, sa inyo, guys, it can be both a blessing and a curse. Kasi, blessing siya kasi, hindi ka nahihirapan sa resources, hindi ka nahihirapan sa, ano, sa materials. No? It can be a curse kasi sobrang dami naman, hindi nyo na alam kung, kung ano, kung ano pipiliin nyo. No? And it's a matter of really finding the right resource, the right uh, material uh, for you. No? So ito, guys, just an example. This is uh, Penn State pala, Penn State University. Okay, so they have this... Uh, uh, stat 510 nila, applied time series. If you go dito sa home, home page na to, okay, I strongly encourage you to look at the, uh, look at the uh, basics. No? Ito, lesson one, time series basics. So this is in addition to our lesson. Okay, so may mga objectives sila. What are the important features of the time series plot? Okay, today we're going to use uh, learn how to uh, what's an AR1 plot, autoregressive one plot. Uh, so, uh, dapat guys, very conversant tayo with uh, with um, terms like this: AR1, MA1, ARMA, ARIMA, uh, autocorrelation function, partial autocorrelation function, seasonality. Unit root. So these are terms that we we would like to be familiar with and understand. Okay, aabot tayo guys ng magbabar din tayo. Aabot tayo dito sa guards. No? Okay, and most of this will be will be taking up. No? So dalawang models yung titina natin. Actually tatlo. Yung AR model, MA model, at saka yung ARIMA model. No? And then we'll go to more more advanced like uh, mga multivariate <clears throat> uh, var models. Okay, we're, we're also going to learn how to model yung mga heteroscedasticity, arch and garch models. So quite a lot of things to discuss uh, in this topic. So that's, I, I, uh, I'm sharing with you some of the very good resources. Okay, meron din dito. How to write an AR equation with seasonality differencing. Okay, and here, yung kay uh, Duke University, no? Okay, so let's take a look at this. Pareho ba to? Uh, home. So, samantalin nyo guys yung mga resources na to. You'll have to invest some time reading. Some, okay, so this is uh, notes on regression and statistical analysis. Okay, so my regression din dito, guys. A forecasting, linear regression. You can you can choose this. You can also refer to this, guys. And then ito yung ARIMA, no? So chapter 5. Okay. Introduction to ARIMA. <clears throat> All right. So I just gave you some references. Of course, marami pang iba, guys. No? I, just, I just gave you a sample. This is not even... 
Of course, this is not comprehensive. Okay. And then, so for today, guys, we're going to make use of several packages. Okay, forecast, FPP3. I'm not sure if uh, ano mga na, ano yun na dito na, na install. So you can first require this and then try to see kung hindi siya install. <clears throat> Ibig sabihin wala kung hindi siya ma-require, ibig sabihin hindi yung pa install And let me check also kasi nag nag-update ako ng ano ng R ano na ba yung R ano ko? Let's see. Uh, global options. Ang version ko na nag-update na ako ng R Studio kasi ayan, for I think this is the latest already 4.1.3. Uh, before I was still using yung 3, no? Yung 3.4.3 yata yung ginagamit ko two weeks ago. So nag-install ako. Ang problema, pag nag-install ka ng panibagong ano, panibagong RStudio, hindi magkikerry over yung mga packages na na-install mo na. No? So you will have to uh, reinstall them. So let me see. So let's run this guys. Pakirun tapos oops. May nag-convert pa yung Okay. Let me run it. This will take some time. No? And then, guys, it will be also good for you. Make it always a habit to, ayan, no? Wala pang forecast. Ibig sabihin, na-install ko na siya dati. Kaso, uh, ano, kaso, uh, hindi nag ano hindi ibig sabihin wala pa dito sa bagong ano 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 okay premier ko lang muna console back to my console okay so just like you guys I will have to okay. pag na install na natin tapos pag na Na library nyo na. Okay na yan. Okay, install ko lang kasi guys ang bagong RStudio. Kaya hindi ko pa na-update na na yung mga packages which I installed already before. So I will have to reinstall it. Kasi when you get a, as I experienced, when you get a new version of RStudio, yung mga packages na pinasok mo nung lower version ng RStudio, it will not automatically be carried on sa newest version of our studio. I think that's a that's a weakness. Sana mas maganda kung automatic na ini-install na rin niya. And when you're done guys, kindly chat in the chat box please. Or paki ano na lang green thumbs up uh, green chat or thumbs up Para malaman ko kung sino yun na yun. Ano? Okay, thank you. Ayan, may dalawa. May dalawa na naka-install ng mga packages. Good. Okay, sige. Okay lang, Rhea, kung hindi mo ma-install yung TAM. Uh, hindi pa naman natin magagamit lahat mo ngayon. No? Uh, TAM or TSM, ah, hindi TAM. Time Series Models. Okay. TSM, okay. Okay, thank you. Alright, ang tagal naman mag-install nito. May install na ba? Parang... Oh, hindi siya nag-run. Dito na lang. Hindi siya mas madali dito. Eh. Wala pa. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, guys, sorry, it's taking quite some time. So yung forecast package, may mga, ano, ano, may mga dependencies siya. Kailangan yung quad prog. Okay, finally. Okay, good. Okay na siya. Tingnan ko, iran po ulit po. Okay. Sana okay na yung iba. Hmm? Otherwise, magtatagal pa ako nito. Dapat kinumpoundan ko na lang. Oh boy. Apologies guys, I should have run this. Kaso, kai-install ko lang eh. And I was having difficulty downloading the latest version of RStudio. As of yesterday, medyo nagkakaproblema pa. And then, kanina umaga lang, and I haven't run this. Okay, please bear with me guys. In the meantime, kindly take a look at our R Markdown file. Kindly read through it, please. Okay, and take a look at the equation. <clears throat> While I'm loading, okay, I'll just do it one by one. Okay, quant mode. Okay, okay, now see quant mode. P series, okay, time series, it's a then. Okay. Package is not available for the version of this package for your version. Mali pala. Dapat pala ano. Capital S. Okay, my fault. Yan, okay. So, pause check ko muna guys. No? Pause recording. Okay, so... Uh, what's the difference between a cross-sectional data and a time series data? Uh, by now, guys, we should know how to identify to identify whether a data is a cross-sectional data or a time series data. Just to have a quick review, when we say it's a cross-sectional data, it consists of uh, uh, several bar one or more variables and uh, with the uh, with several units okay, taken at one point in time. It's like a snapshot. For example, you have, uh, you're you looking at the macroeconomic uh, variables for <clears throat> Asia. So you have all the countries there. You have their GDP, GNP, unemployment rate, okay, et cetera. And then taken at 2022. So that's one point in time. That's what we call a cross-sectional data. On the other hand, a time series data is one where your unit of analysis is just one. For example, Philippines. And then you're taking a look at maybe GNP, GDP, one or more variables, upper economic data. However, this is taken at several points in time, let's say from 1970 up to 2020. And that's what we call a time series. Okay, when we combine these two, where you have several units of observations and then several time frames, then we have what we call a panel data, which is supposed to be our next lesson after we do time series data. Most of the most of the uh, topics in 
in research in in your thesis in the thesis are either panel data or other forms of uh, multiple regression also okay, or uh, some advanced time series okay so uh, by definition one definition of the time series analysis is you extract relevant or meaningful insights Okay, by looking at the structure and the characteristics and looking at patterns that can be utilized to forecast. Okay, so obje the objective you usually here is to forecast. So for example, for a company, they have their data on sales, okay, and then they would want to forecast the sales for the next year, for example. So they have 10 years of historical data. And then let's, let's say that they're engaged in, let's say, uh, uh, what could be a good example where there is seasonality? Let's say flowers like roses. So for companies engaged in this business, you'll notice that there are some seasons, there are some points in time in a year where their sales may shoot up. For example, during Valentine's or during All Saints or All Souls Day, and even Christmas maybe, okay, but not so much, but uh, in particular, during uh, Valentine's and during All Saints or All Souls Day, uh, prices tend to go up. So that's what we that's what we call seasonality. So when we have a data like this, and we would like to predict, for example, what will be the sales for next year, considering the uh, the trend or the pattern of the data. So that's one very important use of time series analysis companies would then be able to manage their resources. They would, for example, if you're in, an importer of, of flowers from, let's say from Netherlands or from other, let's say Asian countries. So you will have to plan okay, because you'll have to, uh, you'll have to let's say plan as to when you'll be importing the goods or the items in time for the, uh, in time for the, uh, great demand for the product so very important guys in time series analysis okay we can actually do regression okay we can actually do linear regression for our time series data however okay uh, a linear regression will not be able to capture uh, any seasonality so unless we're using a polynomial regression or a spline uh, what we call a spline which uh, I hope to also discuss in a video, but not in this class anymore. Kasi dun sa discussion yan, I'm going to compare the difference with, between LM, diba yung LM yung, mul, yung ano natin, multiple linear model natin. And then you have the GLM, the generalized linear model, which considers yung, yung family ng mga binomial, Poisson, gamma distribution. Ito na yung hindi pa pwedeng, ano, hindi siya pa pwedeng, model ng linear kasi hindi na normally distributed yung ano natin yung, yung distributions natin and then lastly you have the GAMS uh, uh, general, generalized additive models which is an, an extension of the GLM okay so uh, I'm sorry I'm just announcing this na gagawa ako ng video on that kasi eh, so far LM at child GLM lang yung na discuss natin Yung LM, yung ordinary na multiple linear regression natin, and then yung GLM, yung nag-binomial tayo. Diba? If you recall, guys, take, take a look at the uh, videos natin dati na nag-binomial uh, regression tayo. Hindi natin ginagamit sa LM. We, we use GLM. And then, meron pang further advancement nun, yung may mga, may mga ano, iba na yung behavior, parang mga, may mga polynomial na, it's better for that to be modeled using GAM. GAM. Okay, but I'm not going to discuss that now. Okay, and sinasabi ko lang guys, kapag gagamitin natin yung ano, yung either yung uh, LM or GLM, uh, ma mas malaki yung magiging error natin kasi hindi makakapture yung mga, yung either yung, makakapture yung trend, kung may trend. Pero yung seasonality, maihirapan si LM hindi kakayanin. GLM hindi rin. No? Maybe si GAMS kakayanin ng konti. Pero there are models that can take care of that, yung, yung ano, not specifically designed for time series. 
Okay? And the most popular method is what we call the box Jenkins approach. Sila yung nag-ano nito? Sila yung nag nag uh, nag gumawa ng modeling na to, no? And and they use what we call the ARIMA model. Okay? ARIMA means auto regressive integrated moving average. So dalawang component actually yan, auto regressive and then moving average. We'll explain why what the integrated is all about later. Okay? So ano ba yung ano? Ano ba yung uh, pag pag AR ano ba siya? Pag AR model. Okay? Auto regressive model. As the name suggests guys, auto, pag sabi auto self. Regressive, rin regress natin. So rin regress natin, naghanap tayo ng model uh, of the time series using its own values. Auto regressive, no? So we are regressing we we're regressing the model using its own past values and tawag doon auto regressive so use the past values of itself to model the time series <laughs> yung ma naman moving average we use the past error terms to model the time series so that's a di distinction between an ma model and an ar model okay integrated guys later on we'll have an example of that <clears throat> pag sinabi integrated kailangan ano muna I difference muna natin yung data natin. When you say difference, guys, ma-minus natin yung value ngayon dun sa value yesterday. Yung value yesterday, ma-minus natin sa value two days ago. So, pag nag tayo class, we're going to create a new data series. Diba? A new data, a, a new time series. Okay. Uh, just, uh, maganda sana sa Excel. Okay, sige, mamaya na lang. No? So, pag difference, guys, minamayos natin yung, yung value ng bawat isa dun sa past value niya. So, pag minamayos natin yan, guys, may bagong value na tayo, di ba? And then, yung bagong values na to, again, ipagsasama-sama natin. So, isang panibagong time series na yun. And that's what we call a difference time series. As the name suggests, dinidifference natin, minamayos natin. <laughs> okay. So let me just show you the uh, equation for a an AR1 model. Okay. So pa. Ayan. Yeah, okay? All right. So AR1, autoregressive one. Ano ibig sabihin ng one? Ibig sabihin guys yung lag one. Well, log 1 means yung value natin ngayon i-minus doon yung value kahapon. So one log lang, one period lang yung difference. Tapos yung log uh, and again yung value kahapon i-minus mo yung log yung value 2 days ago. <coughs> yung value 2 days ago i-minus natin yung value 3 days ago. Okay? So that's the value uh, nung preceding preceding value. Okay, so if you notice guys, an AR1 model, yung model ng time series natin, y sub t, is equal to a certain average plus a1. So this is, parang ito yung intercept, ito yung b1 natin. Yung slope, sorry, not intercept, but the slope of, ano yung parameter na ginagamit natin dito? Yung past value, yt minus 1. Okay, yun. No? y sub t minus 1. So we are regressing, we are establishing a model for our time series y sub t based on its past value y sub t minus 1 plus a certain factor. Okay, and then ito guys yung a1 na yan, may, ano yan, may mga condition. No? Okay, it, it's a number between negative 1 and 1. Hindi pa pwedeng maging more than 1, hindi pa pwedeng maging less than negative 1. Okay, so yun yung, may condition yung a1 na yan. No? And then a certain Error, PT, ang tawag dun sa error na yan, white noise. Ibig sabihin, hindi na natin pwedeng ma-model yan. Okay? Now, take note guys, which we're going to discuss later. When we, when A1 becomes 1, tinan nyo ha, di ba ito A1 became 1? So naging 1 times Y sub T minus 1 plus the error term. This is what we call a random walk. Okay? Pag random walk guys, hindi na mo model yan kasi okay, may, may characteristics ang 
ang isang random walk which again we're going to discuss later so hindi na muna ngayon no okay one at a time okay so clear ba to guys clear ba yung AR1 natin so pag sinabing AR1 autoregressive one it means that we are modeling our time series in yt natin it's modeled by a certain average a sub o plus yung coefficient ng past value niya y sub t minus 1 okay plus a certain error term of course guys yung box jenkins approach whether it's ar or ma uh, may mga test yan malalaman natin using uh, the box jenkins approach kung ano yung kung a, ar ba ang gagamitin kung ma or kung arima ba yan o arma okay all right pause muna ako guys so far may questions ba naintindihan naman yung yung lecture natin dito so far green paki okay, green ano nga green green check or thumbs up please okay thank you all right okay, seven pa lang guys ang nag uh, a thumbs up let's wait for the others Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, just to expand the example, guys. Ano naman tong AR2? Okay, so, so AR2, guys. Two here signifies <coughs> lag two. Okay, <laughs> so hindi lang yung value yesterday ang i uh, ano natin i i sa subtract, pati yung value ng <laughs> ng two days or two years or two periods of time before. Kaya nga, tinan natin tong ano natin, AR2 model, ano? Y sub t is equal to a certain average plus A1 times Y sub t minus 1. So this is the contribution of the past value, the succeeding past value on the uh, model plus A2 times Y sub t minus 2. So hindi lang natin <clears throat> Kunyari, Monday ngayon, no? So, ang y sub t minus 1 <laughs> is the value okay, value yesterday, nung Sunday. Okay? Tapos, ano yung y sub t minus 2? Yung value now minus yung value nung last Saturday. Okay, Monday ngayon. Kunyari, may value tayo ngayon. So, ang y sub t minus 1 is the value today minus the value yesterday. Yun ang y sub t minus 1. And then, the y sub t minus 2 is the value today minus the value last Saturday. <clears throat> so, dalawang predictors ang ginagamit natin dito, guys. No? Two predictors, y sub t minus 1 and y sub t minus 2. Parang dalawang independent variables. Pero yung independent variables na yan, they are lags. They are difference values of your time series. Okay? Clear ba? Siguro guys, just to ano, okay, siguro magbukas lang ako ng ano, ng ng Excel para paki-illustrate ko lang yun. No? Although pwede naman tayong mag ano, mag uh, sige, tagal na Excel. Dito na lang. Sige. Okay, uh, sige guys. Uh, I change my mind. Mamaya, mamaya, mamaya na lang yung data natin talaga. No? <coughs> so that we are able to cover more. <coughs> so in general guys, an ARP process, an AR log P process, call it ARP, <coughs> is a model where we <coughs> uh, regress your time series, your original time series on uh, P lags, no? P lags. Okay, kaya tinan natin to. Y, y T minus 1, T minus 2, T minus 3, <clears throat> hanggang, kunyari, lag 10 yan. So that's T minus 1. So that's, uh, uh, dapat to, sorry, ah. May mali ako dito, guys, may kulang, no? 
So, dapat saan siya? Dapat dito, ito ano, yung A underscore, this should be T minus P minus 1. Sorry, it's not correct again. Ayan. <clears throat> P minus P minus 1, kunyari, log of P. No? So, that's T minus 9, kasi yung P natin, 10 kunyari, no? So, 10 minus 1, that's 9. T minus 9. And finally, T minus 10. Okay? For a, uh, for a, uh, ito pala. For a, mali na naman to. It should be, this is not y sub t, no? Dapat to, should be, okay, let me just fix this. Hmm. Yt plus ito. A sub p times This should be T minus P minus 1. Kulang pa to. And then dapat to. Let me just copy this. Control C. Pakibago na lang guys. Pakiayos. Mali yung notation natin. Yan. Okay. Yan. <clears throat> so from T minus 1, T minus 2, T minus 3. Hanggang T minus P minus 1, yung second to the last. And then, hanggang T minus P, yung last. So, 10 lags, no? 10 lags. So, depende yan sa, no? Uh, although, oftentimes, guys, hindi na umaabot ng malalaking lags. Kasi, ibig sabihin ng malalaking lags, kunyari, lag 10. Ibig sabihin ba niyan yung, yung 10, 10 days ago o 10 years ago, may, uh, may impact pa rin dun sa value ngayon? Okay, well, it depends on the data. Siguro may mga data na ganun. But usually, from what I've encountered, uh, minsan, maano na yung, malaki na nga yung log 4, log 5. Minsan, nakakita ko ng log 6. But not really, uh, not really so, uh, like log 10, wala pa ako nakita. Meron, siguro meron naman. No? Uh, kasi, uh, again, guys, ang principle dito, pars parsimony. Kung pwedeng konti yung logs, Pwede gamitin yung mas konting lags. So, between choosing a log 10 and a log 2, kung pareho naman kunyari yung, ano nila, yung explanatory power, edi eh, log 2 na tayo. Ba? Kasi mas simple yung model na yun. <clears throat> Okay, next. MA naman. Ano naman yung MA? Ang kaibahan guys ng AR process at saka MA process, dito ang minomodel natin yung, ano, yung error terms. No? Error terms ang minomodel natin. So moving average log 1. So still, we're modeling y sub t. So it will be equal to the error, a certain error, plus b1 times the past error term. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng ma1. Okay, yung error ngayon, tapos yung error ng one period before. So that's b1 times epsilon t minus 1. Okay, so ang, of course guys, ang ma2 will be y sub t. It's equal to epsilon sub t plus b1 times epsilon sub t minus 1 plus b2 times epsilon sub t minus 2. So yun ang ma2. Pag maq naman, ganun din. No? Y sub t sub t. So b, a, epsilon sub t minus 1, epsilon sub t minus 2. Hanggang sa, nagdagyan natin ang isa to. Okay, so let me copy this. Control C, Control P. Okay. Tapos gawin natin T minus Q minus 1. And then this should be Senator. Hmm. So now we'll go with what? Uh, B. Dapat. 
Q minus one. Okay. All right. So that's it, no? So I'm MAQ yan, guys. MAQ process. No? So we are regressing our our time series on the past error terms. No? Log one, log two, log Q minus one, and then log log Q. No? Okay. All right, post muna ako, guys. Uh, clear ba? Paki, ano naman? Paki thumbs up. Kung clear so far. Okay, how about the rest, guys? Flash ko ulit po kasi baka, sorry, may mali sa formula natin. Tapos dito, E, epsilon, T minus Q minus 1. Tapos yung B natin, Q minus 1. Kaya kung 10 logs ulit, guys, ito yung pang 9. No? This is the ninth term. <clears throat> of course, not counting epsilon sub T, yeah. And then yung pang 10th term. Okay. All right. So if AR, uh, kung naiintindi natin AR process at saka MA process, then maiintindi natin combined lang. So on A, ARMA11, guys, ARMA11 process is, okay, ibig sabihin itong una dito, this is the AR. Itong one dito, yung una, this is for the AR. Itong one dito sa pangalawa, this is for the MA. So, ibig sabihin ng ARMA21, kasi kung nambahin natin siya, autoregressive at chassis moving average. Okay, the first number here refers to your AR component. The second number refers to your MA component. Okay, so how does an ARMA11 model look like? Okay, so ito, no? <clears throat> y sub t is equal to a, uh, a certain constant, a certain average plus a sub 1 times yt minus 1. So this is log 1. Log 1 ng, log 1 ng, ano to, ng AR component. And then, ito naman yung pangalawa, epsilon sub t plus beta 1 times epsilon sub t minus 1. This is your MA component. Okay, so pinagsama natin. So that takes care of your ARMA. Okay, autoregressive moving average. <clears throat> okay, so in a nutshell, guys, pag sinabing RA, AR1, well, we just model, parang regression lang din, no? We're modeling our time series using past values of itself. <clears throat> okay? In other words, parang andyan yung data, data natin, tapos kukunin natin yung difference ng, ng, ano, ng value today at saka yung value yesterday. So lahat yun, ima-minus natin. So mag, may panibagong time series tayo, no? Of course, yung panibagong time series natin, less one na yun. Kunyari, yung observations natin sa, sa original data natin, 100, yung difference 1, guys, ano na lang yun? 99 na lang. Diba? Kasi mababawasan eh. Kasi kukunin natin difference between the value now and the value yesterday. Tapos ganun din pag log 2, so that will be 100 minus 2, 98 na lang. Okay? Pause ulit guys, any questions? Or, or clear ba? Okay, ano naman please? Okay, thumbs up or green, you know, check. Rinigyo ko lang yung AR, saka MA, ARMA, 1, 1. Okay. And thumbs up na may iba? Clear ba, guys? How about the rest? Okay. 
right? Na dalawa lang yung nag-thumbs up. Uh, let's wait for the others, guys. Gusto mo malaman kung okay tayo so far, no? Okay, thank you. <clears throat> All right, good. Good. Salamat, ha? <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> uh, we're done with the AR, we're done with the MA, we're done with the uh, Karma. No? <clears throat> okay, ano naman, guys, yung Arima? Ano, yung, ano naman yung Arima process? Kasi ito, Arma PQ, so pag sinabi natin Arma PQ, this is generic, no? Ibig sabihin, pag sasama natin yung, combine natin yung AR process, no? ARP process, Okay, why don't we do that, guys? So how do we write an ARMA PQ process? <clears throat> so i-copy natin to. Itong ARP natin. Control C. Uh, let me put it here. <coughs> Control D. <coughs> Tapos yung MAQ. <clears throat> Where's our MAQ process? Ito. So, ayusin ko na lang. Ito. Control C. <clears throat> Control D. Uh, paano nga ba lang mag next line? I forgot how to put the next line. Okay. Anyway, guys, ito, ano lang. Yung, <clears throat> it's just a combination of your, so this is, so mali, mali na to, this is your, now your ARMA. P. And Q lines. <clears throat> Alright. So ito na yung ARMA P. <coughs> ARMA P Q. Okay. So let's go to the, <laughs> ano naman guys yung arima no? so sabihin ko na no? ito may D dito arima ito yung integrated no? PDQ okay yung arima guys yung arima model where you have a D here sa gitna okay, hindi, na, hindi natin ginagamit yung original data okay so, siguro mag ano ako dito no? uh, sige buksan ko na Excel uh, Just to illustrate this. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So let's uh round lang ako guys. Ha? So go to round. Round between lang. Let's say 10 and 200. Okay, shadow malaki. 130 and 160. Mari lang. At 25. So control C. Um, okay, I generate lang ako guys ng mga ran random numbers lang to. So let me just illustrate to you. No? Uh, insert. So this is our original data, no? So this is our original data. Okay. Ang ang log one data, guys, ang log one. So let's say this is a range from 1 to 3.
Okay, let's say arrange to from earliest to latest. No? <clears throat> okay, so how will our uh, how will our log one look like? No? Okay, ang difference muna, guys. Ang difference series natin. Ang ibig sabihin difference series, yung value, value mo yesterday, uh, today, will be subtracted from your value yesterday. Yan. Okay? So this is now your difference series. Ba? Difference. Kasi may nine sa natin. Okay. Pag nag ma tayo, guys, ang ginagamit natin na na data, ito na. No? Ito na yung imo-model natin. Okay? Hindi na tong original. Kasi yung I doon sa integrated, ibig sabihin nun, i-difference natin yung series natin, tapos yun ang imo-model natin. Okay? Doon sa ano, doon sa ARMA, guys, ang minomodel natin yung 1. Yung actual, no? Ito yung minomodel natin. So for example, pag nag-AAR1 tayo, AR1. Ano ibig sabihin ng AR1? <clears throat> yung today minus yung yesterday. Which is actually, ito, di ba? Ito din yun. Okay, ito din yun. Okay? So therefore, guys, i-regress natin ito on its log 1 past value. Ah, sorry, mali. Difference ako. Okay, so this should be equal to yung past value niya, this one. Apologies, guys. Okay. Hindi yung difference, ha? So, i-ano natin, guys, i- I-regress natin. Ito yung original data series natin. Di ba? 25 observations. Na yung log 1 niya will be yung value at time 2 will be the value of the previous. Ito. Okay. Yung value dito sa 25 will be the previous value. Itong 147. So wala pa dito guys. Wala pa. Kasi wala pa naman yung 26 ano eh. So what happens guys pag AR process? Pag AR process, so nabawasan tayo ng isa, di ba? Kasi 25 to eh. Iurong ko lang to ha. Yan. Okay? <clears throat> so ngayon, para magre-regression din tayo. However, ang data natin ngayon, nabawasan ng isa. So this one is now regressed on its log 1. Okay? Log 1 yan. Pag log 2 naman guys, log 2 is equal to, so ano na yung log 2 natin? 2 dates before, no? Or pwede yung previous ni log 1. Yan. Yan. So ito si log 1. Log 1. Ito naman si log 2. Log 2. Okay? So when you do an ARMA pro, R, AR2 process, guys, gagamitin natin both si log 1 at saka si log 2. So bali, i-regress natin itong time series natin na to, yung original, dun sa log 1 niya at saka sa log 2. Okay? So that, hopefully that explains, guys, yung ano yung ibig sabihin ng log 1 at saka log 2. Okay. Iba naman yung difference. Yung difference, nagma-minus tayo. No? Mina-minus natin. Ito guys yung ano, uh, pag gusto natin ng arima, no? pag gusto natin ng arima, i-difference, kukunin yung difference ng ano. Tapos ito ngayon yung ano, yung gagawa ng model. Ito yung gagawa ng nare, AR1. No? So naka-difference na siya, di ba? Ito. So ang AR1 natin will be so, kukunin natin yung previous niya. So, ang mangyayari guys, ito na yung minomodel. No? Okay, I, I hope that's clear guys. No? Kasi parang medyo nakakalito siya. No? Pero, pag arima guys, ang ginagamit natin, integrated kasi siya, dapat kukunin natin difference ng previous values. So, that what will happen now is you now have a different, ano, different time series. 
It's now the difference time series. And then from there, so na integrate mo na to, saka ka mag, mag uh, ano, AR or MA. No? Ito naman, diretso. No? Ito yung original series. Kinuha natin log 1. Okay? Log 1 siya. So ngayon, makakakuha tayo ng AR, AR1 process. Ire-regress natin itong log 1 dun sa original value niya. Of course, mababawasan ng isa. Pag ano naman, pag AR2, dalawa, no? log 1 at saka log 2. So ngayon, mababawasan tayo ng dalawang points na. Pero ire-regress natin si log 1 at saka si log 2 on the original. Okay? So that's what happens guys with an AR1, AR2, and a difference series. Okay, pause muna ako. Paano naman guys? Pa, pa feedback naman. Green check please or thumbs up kung okay. Tapos ka, wag na nga muna tanggalin yung thumbs up niyo. Gusto ko lang malaman guys kung ano. Please don't remove it first. I'd like to see uh, kung how many are ano. Yan. Hi sir, I think for the thumbs up, my time lang talaga. Ah, my time lang talaga siya. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> Hindi ko kasi ginagamit. Oh, sige, sige. Okay. Sige. Pero sana sabay-sabay para makita ko kagad kung pwede when I ask that, huwag nyo na i, ano. Uh, pero kung thumbs down, ibig sabihin may question kayo para makita ko kagad. Okay. Thank you. May, may time pala yan, ano. O, oh, nakalimutan ko. Sir, okay. if you want, ano, para ano? makita mo lahat, yung raise oh. hand na lang. Ah, raise hand. Oh, oh. Sige, raise hand para makikita ko, no. Kasi pag raise hand, di ba, ibig sabihin, ano, may question. Yes, sir. Pero if you want na hindi matatanggal agad. Oh, sige. Sige. Ang context raise hand, ibig sabihin, uh, ano, clear sa inyo, ha? Sige. Sige. Okay. Ayan. Sige. Ayun. Ibig sabihin, uh, uh, clear guys, ha? Ayan, para hindi natatanggal lahat. Okay. Thank you. Yung iba, dapat ginagawa ko na itong dati pa, eh. So, hindi ko tinatap yung, ano, yung modality si Zoom. Okay. So may mga hindi pa nag-raise ang head but I I I hope the others are able to follow no. Okay. So I just illustrated to you what happens when you do an AR model no, a AR1. So ito yung original natin. Pag nag-log 1 tayo, mababawasan yung data natin no. So magiging ano na, mab ma mababawas na yung pinakadulo. So instead of 25 observations, magiging 24 na lang. Okay, pag log 2, mababawasan ulit ng isa and so on and so forth. Okay? So kapag AR2, dalawa yung regressors natin. Yung log 1 at saka log 2. So dito, nangyari dito, 25 minus 2, 23 observations na lang. Nabawasan tayo ng observations. Okay? All right. Okay, so... Uh, balikan tayo sa ano natin. Balikan tayo sa our markdown natin. Okay. Now, what, what are the steps, guys, in using the Box Jenkins approach? No? Lagyan natin dito steps in using the Box Jenkins approach in Arima models. Okay? So, kasi ang gagamitin natin, uh, yung approach ni uh, Box and Jenkins. Sila kasi nag-formulate. Nag, ano ano, nag okay, step one. Siyempre, i-plot muna natin yung time series natin. Okay, kasi gusto natin makita na stationary siya. Okay, I'll explain mamaya kung ano ibig sabihin ng stationary. No? Pero uh, papakita ko sa inyo graphically. Pero ang stationary, guys, ibig sabihin nun na wala siyang trend. Okay, walang noticeable na trend na paakyat o pababa. No? Tapos, also wala siyang seasonality. Ibig sabihin, yung variance niya constant. Okay? Kapag may trend at saka may seasonality, guys, ibig sabihin, non-stationary yun. Okay? Kapag non-stationary, hindi natin pwedeng gamitin si Box Jenkins approach. Hindi natin pwedeng gamitin si Arima. Therefore, we will have to do, that's why nagkakaroon ng differencing. No? Kaya nagkakaroon ng arima. No? Okay, so sabi dito, kung hindi stationary, kailangan magta-transform tayo. Number one, pwede natin i-difference yung data to make the data stationarity on mean. Stationary on mean. Okay, ano ibig sabihin nito, guys? 
kasi kung may trend siya, okay, kung may trend, kunyari pataas yung data natin o kaya pababa, how do we address that? Kasi gusto natin walang, ano, walang, walang trend, walang pataas, walang pababa. A simple transformation will, will address that. Ang gagawin natin, i-difference lang natin. Pag dinifference natin, guys, ibig sabihin, ibang data na yung gagamitin natin, ha? hindi na yung original data. Ang gagamitin na natin na data, yung difference na data. Okay, so take note, guys. Ha? Pag na-difference na tayo ng data, ulitin ko, ha? hindi na natin ginagamit yung original na data. Kasi pag nag-difference tayo, Iba na yung data na mag-generate, di ba? If you recall dun sa Excel na pinakita ko sa inyo. Okay? So a difference data is actually modeling another data. Okay? And why do we have to do that? We have to do that kasi pag, may, pag yung original data ang gamitin natin, kung may trend yun, hindi tayo makakapag-arima. And we want to do arima, no? So we have to difference the data. Okay, also, okay, kapag ano, kapag... Uh, uh, hindi ano ano ibig sabihin ng ano ng stationary invariance. Naalala niyo guys sa regression yung fanning out effect. Over time pag tinitingnan natin guys, yung mga data points parang lumalaki nang lumalaki, nagfa-fan out siya. Imagine a fan, no? Uh, sa Spanish abanico, no? Parang na, bumubukas yung ano guys, yung opening niya. Lumalaki nang lumalaki. So that means hindi constant yung variance, no? Okay, that means, guys, na hindi, sta hindi stationary yun. Kasi dapat pag stationary, stationary on mean and stationary on variance. So if they're not stationary on mean and stationary in variance, kailangan may gawin tayong transformation para maging stationary siya. So how do you make it stationary? Pag may trend, kunin yung difference. Tapos pag meron pang hindi pa siya stationary sa variance, then ilog transform natin. Okay? So what happened was, guys, pag ganun yung data, may trend na, tapos may seasonality pa, pag may seasonality kasi, guys, parang lumalaki na lumalaki yung ano, yung, kunyari, uh, let's say, yung, yung sales natin kanina sa, ano, sa Valentine's, no? at saka dun sa ano. Noong 1970, 71, 72, hanggang 2020, guys, lumalaki nang lumalaki yung mga sales ng ano every February at saka every November. So if you plot that, makikita nyo guys na over time, yung mga peaks natin sa February at saka sa November, tumataas ng tumataas. Okay? So that that tells that tells us not only is there a trend but also there's uh, there's uh, non-constancy in terms of variance. Okay, mamaya magbibigay na ng example. Yung mga steps lang. Okay. Alright. And then, pag na, ano na natin, na-transform na natin, na-difference na natin, tapos na-log transform na natin, uh, i-plot ulit natin, tapos tignan natin kung stationary. So, dapat dito, lagyan natin dito ng step 5A. No? Okay. Plot, transform, Data. if stationary. Pakidagdag na lang ito. Okay, pag na-plot na natin, tapos nakita na natin na stationary, okay na. Okay, ibig sabihin nun, pwede na tayo mag-proceed ng model natin. Okay. However, hindi lang dapat yung visual kailangan, ma-check din natin guys. We have to check statistically. So may mga test, no? Uh, meron tayong uh, augmented DT Fuller test, KPSS test, para malaman natin kung stationary na siya. Okay? So we don't have to de depend only in our visual. So meron, meron din time test na ginagamit para uh, to check kung talagang stationary yung data natin. Alright. Step 6. Uh, dati guys, ito, very important to yung step 6 na to. Okay? Ngayon, medyo for theoretical ano lang appreciation yan. Kasi ngayon, yung mga softwares ngayon guys, uh, okay, let me explain first. Yung ACF, autocorrelation function, at saka partial autocorrelation function, it, it was very important before, nung wala pa mga uh, software, yung R, or Python, wala pa nun, kasi kailangan natin yung plot na yun 
para ma-identify natin yun kung AR process ba siya o MA process. So ginagamit natin guys si ACF at saka si PACF para malaman kung AR process ba yan o MA process ba yan o ARMA process ba yan. Okay? So yun ang gamit niya. No? So we have to know guys, uh, paki do some readings on what are ACF, how is it computed. Madali lang naman siya. No? Uh, PACF, how is it computed. Tapos, <clears throat> Ipa-plot natin siya para ma makita natin, oops, ah, ito mukhang ano to, mukhang AR process to. Tapos ito ay mukhang MA process to. O baka ARMA process. So dati guys, ah, ano parang hit or miss lang yan. <clears throat> hit or miss. So nang, nang first time ko nag-time series several decades ago guys, uh, we were still using ano, e-views. No? So doon, kailangan i-plot namin yung ano, yung yung ACF at saka PACF ng ano tapos titingnan namin uy ano ba to AR ba to o MA ba to kasi so, doon natin malalaman eh tapos so guessing game lang yon no and then magmo-model kami ng AR magmo-model kami ng MA magmo-model ng ARMA so tedious yung process ngayon guys hindi na eh may auto dot arima function ng CR so, automatically sasabihin sa iyo ano ano to AR process o MA process so it's a lot lot easier na ngayon, no? However, we will still go through the process of uh, plotting the ACF and the PACF para naman guys, alam niyo yung the theoretical underpinnings nun. Okay, after plotting the, ano, the A ACF and the PACF, then i-identify na natin si, si ARIMA. No? Okay. Actually, dapat ano na to, no? ARMA model na yan. <clears throat> Bakit ARMA model? Kasi na-difference na natin. No? Sa bagay, guys, Arima pa rin naman. Kasi you can write Arima, by the way, as ito ah, ito. Arima. Arima. Binary 1, 0, 1. Okay. Yan. Ano ibig sabihin niyan? So, ibig sabihin niyan, Arima 1, 0, 1, ibig sabihin nun, yung AR component 1. Ibig sabihin, we're going to regress our time series on its past value. Tapos, yung MA component 1, ibig sabihin yung past error term niya. Okay? Alright. And then, plot the ACF and the PACF for the residuals. Ang titina naman yung residuals. Okay? Para ma-check ma natin na wala na dapat yung residuals, dapat nito, dapat white noise na siya. Ibig sabihin, wala nang autocorrelation, dapat wala nang maano, wala nang makikita dun sa ano. Uh, okay, it's best to illustrate that. Okay, so punta muna tayo dito. Okay, dito, in-explain ko lang ulit guys uh, what a stationary time series is. One whose statistical properties as mean, variance, autocorrelation are all constant over time. So mean is constant over time. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya nag increase Ibig sabihin nun, hindi siya, ano, hindi siya, wala siyang trend. Okay, variance niya, ibig sabihin, hindi siya uh, para nagpa-fan, no? Uh, pa, palaki or paliit. Okay, so lahat sila constant over time. Okay, so ano ba itsura ng stationary time series? Flat siya. Flat looking series without a trend, without uh, a constant yung variance. Okay, constant autocorrelation structure over time. Tingin nga tayo guys ng ano, uh, punta tayo dito sa ano, sa para lang may idea tayo, no? stationary tingnan natin ha sorry hindi ako nakaano dapat nag stationary time series example so let's uh, ayan guys tingnan natin image okay if we take a look at this guys ito hindi stationary to no? nangyari Ano ba? Yung plot lang gusto natin. <coughs> Wala ayaw dito. Okay. Anyway, hindi ko na i-ano guys. At take a look at this guys. Stationary to. Stationary. Walang trend. 
walang trend tapos constant yung variance <coughs> this this is not stationary my trend siya my trend uh, the variance seems to be constant no the variance is constant pero my trend siya so hindi stationary yan okay hanap pa tayo ng iba example dito sana may ano may seasonality ito guys to take a look at this ito no ayan is does this have a trend my trend ba siya guys <clears throat> Yes or no? Yes, thank you. Yes, yes. Okay, good. So, ano siya guys? May trend, pataas siya, di ba? Tapos, constant ba siya in terms of <coughs> variance? <coughs> constant ba siya in terms of variance? Hindi, guys. <coughs> Kasi pag, let's say, you, you put this... Uh, I-renotate natin yung axis na to. <clears throat> If we rotate, rotate this axis, over time guys, hindi equal yung variance natin kasi naging increase siya over time, di ba? At this point, ito yung variance niya. At this point, ito lang talaki. So over, uh, it's, it's an increasing variance. So it's not, it's not stationary. Okay, so not constant mean, not constant variance. So this means that this series is not stationary. Okay, this, uh, medyo may pagka-stationary. You know? <clears throat> Although yung variance at this point, medyo malaki dito. But generally, guys, okay naman to. Uh, and, and we can check, guys. We can do a statistical test kung talagang stationary na siya. Ito definitely, guys, <clears throat> hindi siya stationary. My trend. Ito din, my trend, no? Tapos hindi rin constant yung variance. Okay, so I hope clear sa inyo guys kung ano yung ano. No? Ito, no trend ka. So makikita natin dito na hindi constant yung variance. May mga, may mga points na, <clears throat> may mga points na grabe yung ano, no? yung, yung variance. Pag ganito guys, pag constant naman yung mean natin, pero yung ano, meron tayong mga tinatawag na ano, mga volatility clustering ang tawag dito, no? When you say volatility clustering, point times of uh, high points will be followed by higher points. No? Pataas ang pataas ang pataas, tapos bababa na naman. Baba, 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 baba. Tapos babalik na naman. Yun. Kaya ito yung na nangyayari dito guys. Eh? Dito. Up, 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 up. Tapos taas na naman. Ito up, 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 up. Uh, down, 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 down pala. Ito up, 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 etc. Okay, so... <clears throat> Pag ganito na yung model, pag ganito yung time series, guys, it's not, it's not recommended that this, uh, we use ARIMA for this one. Dito na papasok yung next lesson natin, which is the ARCH model, ARCH or GARCH model. So si ARCH or GARCH model, autoregressive conditional heteroscedasticity is a better model to use when we have stationary siya sa mean, pero non-stationary siya sa, sa variance. Kasi hindi na nakaka-capture ng ano ng arima tong ano tong non-stationary in variance it will not be able to capture that. Okay? Uh, clear yung guys so far? Clear? Okay chat naman please kung clear. Na tingko makita natin to. Okay, thank you. Uh, how about the rest? Access kaya natin yun. Yung plot lang. Ano yung sana the plot? Ma-open ba natin ito? Hindi pa lang kung ma-open natin. Okay, anyway, you can have them open. All right, marami na mga examples, guys, which I showed you. I hope that's clear. No? Pinaka-importante sa atin, guys, as of now, 
alam natin kung stationary or hindi siya. Okay, so uh, so ang stationary guys, sabi nga natin, looks like a flat looking series. Walang trend. No? Tapos yung properties niya do not depend on the time at which the series is observed. So kahit na pumunta ka dun sa kunyari, 1970, yung average dun, pareho lang kahit sa 2020. O yung variance dun sa 1980, generally pareho lang dun sa variance dun sa 2016. Okay? So here I have uh, another site which I... So pakitingnan nyo na lang to, guys. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, gusto ko sana ng okay uh, mag -exa example naman tayo ha? it's almost time okay let's we're going to use uh, the package uh, air passengers no so run natin to data air passengers so from ano to no? from uh, kasama to sa data sets ibig ko lang dito para alam natin kung saan galing to data sets package Hindi natin kailang install yan kasi it comes with R. Okay, so let's run this, guys. Run natin. Access mo natin so, sa air passengers. Run. Taking some time to open. Why? Why the bad data sets? Okay, may tanggalin ko lang guys. Why? Wait, data sets. Hirap sa ano ko ngayon guys. Sorry kasi uh, kailangan ko ulit install itong data sets. Ayun, data sets. About you to say you guys, uh, it's uh, Two minutes before time. Guys, konting ano lang ha. One minute ano lang. One or two minutes. I hope you don't mind. No? Andong ba siya? Si... Ayun. Yun naman siya. Hmm. Weird. Tanggalin ko na nga lang tong namesake niyan. Yan. Okay. Ayun na tanggapin yung data data sets. <clears throat> Alright. Ayan na. Okay na. Tapos view <clears throat> view natin guys. <clears throat> Air passengers. <clears throat> okay. So ito. No? Oops. Ito na problema ng aking Ayaw niya magpakita. Okay, but I hope guys, nag ano, sa inyo, ano? Dito ko na lang titinan. No? Ayaw din sa view. Eh. So, as you can see here, guys, okay, from 1949 to 19, 1960, months ng pagwala yung data sets, meron pong air passengers sa values. Oo. Uh, pero sa akin, sa akin ayaw, mag, ayaw i magpakita ng ano eh, ng parang spreadsheet siya. No? Ginawa niyang parang list. <clears throat> anyway, uh, what's important for us is to, okay, let's let's assign this a name. Guys, one minute lang ha. AP. Alt minus. 
para mas mas maliit yung uh, yung pangalan <clears throat> i'm just going to assign it a name okay okay and then let's uh, plot no i plot lang natin no or and then ano muna uh, tinuunan natin yung object no so pinan daw natin si structure tapos uh, check natin guys kung may mga ano na, frequency frequency ap and then cycle pwede natin pinahin cycle ap okay, and then of course summary and mapapit ng clock Okay, and then last one guys, lagay ko lang dito para makita nyo yung plot. P1, I'm creating an object called, let's use the plot function ni base R. Plot natin si AP, lagyan natin ng label si X. Uh, yung label natin is a date, yung date. Tapos yung Y lab natin, Y label natin is passengers, passenger frequency. Uh, in thousands no? in thousands okay ano pa tapos lang natin yung main main air passengers from 1949 to 1960 <clears throat> okay so there you go plot lang natin gusto kong ipakita ko sa inyo Yan, okay? So, these are plot, guys. Okay. So, kung imamodel natin ito ng arima, hindi pa pwede. Kasi number one, may, may trend siya. So, non-constant mean. Number two, may seasonality siya. Tinan nyo, nagpa-fan out siya. No? Nagpa-fan out siya. So, non-constant mean, non-constant variance. We cannot use arima for this one. Okay? We have to do some data transformation in order to model this out. For Rima. Okay, so let me stop record. Let me stop my record there.